Welcome back. Today I'm going to solve some chess puzzles. Sorry, I'm going to attempt to solve some chess puzzles on chess.com. My rapid rating is down there in the corner only for those people who come to my channel for the first time and the only interaction that they think is appropriate is to ask me what my rating is, but it's lower than it should be. That's because I'm having trouble and that's one reason that I'm going to solve some puzzles. Hopefully this will help me in my chess journey and hopefully you'll get something out of this as well. I made it to 1781 in puzzles last time which of course is far ahead of my actual chess ratings here. What we're gonna look for is checks, captures, and threats. I have several checks in this position. One of them is right here, which might be the best one. I see other checks. There's a check here on f4. In that case, I think they could just block with the bishop. I have a check on d4, in which case I think the king could just go back. And I don't think that I, well, I would have a follow-up, but then they could block with the bishop at that point. I have a check over here which the king could just go back and then I could follow up, but they could block with the bishop. I mean, for that matter, I have the same thing here, but that looks like a problem. Another problem I have is it looks like their pawn's about to promote. I don't think they'll be able to defend it though, but I'm gonna go back to the first check that I saw, which was this one. It's protected by my rook on g7. In that case, they can't block with anything and they can't capture my queen on g3. So I think the only legal move would be for the king to drop back to one of those two squares and then I would have mate on g2. I believe. I'm going to try queen to g3 check. And that was checkmate. I'm pretty sure. That took me a little longer that sh than it should have, but I wanted to check all the possibilities because sometimes you think, oh, I found a mate, but there's another mate that's faster, and the puzzle will only accept the better one. Let's go on to the next one. All right, the opponent is trying to check me down here, but it's not going to be a mate because I would have escapes. Uh, if they went here, I could escape. So I'm not, I don't think there's a mate in one here for my opponent, but there's something for me. Obviously, I do have multiple checks here. I have two different queen checks. I think that one's bad because their queen is guarding e1. This check would force the king. Well, I mean, they could block with either one of their pieces, but that would, that would be a poor decision on their part. If I check on c1 with my queen, their king goes over to h2. Then I would have another check back here on f4, which they could block with the pawn, and then I could take here, and then they would be forced into the corner, and then I would have checkmate. Okay, well what about just going with the rook first? That I think has the same thing. The king goes to h2. The problem there is that I can't follow it up. So that's why maybe I should check first with the queen on c1, because when that way when the king goes there, I do have a safe follow-up. And I think the only legal move at that point would be to block with the pawn, and then I would come down to f2. I, th I think that one's a forcing mate, whereas this isn't. If I check with the rook on b1 and the king comes up, I can't get to a safe square. None of those, none of those three are safe as follow-up checks. I don't think I would have a follow-up. Okay, so let's try queen to c1. Oh, they, they blocked with the rook. Okay, well, I'm just going to take the rook then. I thought the king was going to move and I was going to have to come up here, but they blocked with the rook, so I'm going to take it. Oh, that was it. I hesitated for a second because now that my queen is off of the dark squares, when the king moved out of the, out of the way, then I wouldn't be able to, uh, to check it up here like I had originally planned. But instead, they gave up the rook. So now they either have to block with the queen or move out of check here. And then I'm not sure what I would do. Okay, I do like discovered attacks. I, before I got back into chess about two years ago, I don't think I knew what discovered checks were. I might have... Played a few of them by accident, but I don't think I did any of them intentionally. But since I've learned what they are, they're pretty powerful, especially checks. Uh, discovered attacks on other pieces like the queen are nice as well. The cool thing is when you can attack another piece at the same time. But here I don't know that I have that. Because if I, say, play knight to c2, which is a check from my rook, I would be attacking their knight. But I assume at that point that their king would just move forward to protect their knight. And then I would have a follow-up check over there on b4, but again, the king could just come closer, continue to protect their knight as well as attacking mine. Okay, what other discoveries do we have? I mean, there's knight to knight to c4, but again, the king comes here. Then I would go back and we would repeat. There's knight to g4, but that doesn't attack anything except the king. I suppose I could put the knight back on d1. Maybe it's not a discovered check. I'm just trying to explore all the options for the discovered checks. Or maybe it is. Maybe it is this. And when the king comes closer, maybe I just take their knight. And then when they take mine, I would come in here to e7 and attack. 
I, I would win one of those pawns, at least one of them, right? I mean, immediately I would have a choice of those two, and the rook could move to protect either one of them, or this one could move forward to protect itself, but I don't know if that's the answer, because I know it's not one of these two, because there the king could just take, or the... Well, the knight couldn't take because the rook would be having the king in check, but the king could move out of check by capturing my knight. So I don't think that's it. So I am strongly leaning toward knight to c2 check. I assume the king would come toward the knight. At that point, I would capture the knight, they would capture my knight, and then I would play rook to e7, because otherwise this discovered check doesn't, doesn't look great. And their rook is not posing me any threats right now. Let's see, would I have, what would I have if I went over here? The, would the king just move toward it? Because then... But then I would have to repeat, right? Or I guess hide the knight over here. Okay, I'm going to play rook to c2, check. That might be wrong. And if it is wrong, we'll go to the analysis board and figure out why. Oh, that was correct. Okay, well, here I do have the choice of checking again, either one of these. I think if I check on b4, as we said, the king would just come closer and then my knight's in danger. If I go to e3, suppose the king would just slide over to the c file and then I haven't gained anything. So I'm going to take the knight. Okay, that was wrong. Let's find out why. Well, first let's click the hint button and see what the actual answer was. Oh, now the answer is to pin their knight. Okay, but then they've moved to protect it. So should I take it? If I take it, they're going to take mine. And then when I take there, they're going to take here. And then I didn't get any of those pawns on the other end. Or is it checking again? I mean, I can attack the rook, but then it just moves over. Oh, and if it moves over, then I can check here. Maybe it's attacking the rook with the pawn. Oh, it is. Okay. Well, then... Should I attack it with another pawn, or should I check? Okay, yeah, th this puzzle is much harder than I thought it was going to be. I could check over there, but again, we have the same problem with the king coming toward me. If I'm on b4, the king's going to go to c4. Again, if I take, they take, take, they take, and then what did I gain? I, I mean, I gained my pawn having moved forward. Okay, f3 attacks the rook, and the rook has to move. Where would it move to? Move here, and then I win the knight? Okay, I'm going to try that. Oh, okay. Well, the king is still protecting that. But, oh, now I can take the rook. Wow. Let's go to the analysis board. I want to see what the problem was with my first idea. Okay, I did play this, and that was correct, and the king moved where I thought it would. Okay, rook to d1 is my best move, but look at that. The move that I was going to play still leaves me with an advantage. It is still a good move. It's my second best move. And if I played that, we assume the king would take back. And then I would play rook to e7, like I said, and I have almost a plus one advantage. Not only are their two pawns doubled, but I'm going to win another one right now. And it says that their best move, the only one that leaves them under plus one, is playing b6. And then I would capture on a7. Actually, I'm at plus one now. Or rook to d7 check first. It switched to rook to d7 check first. I'm not sure why the check first would be more important. I suppose it would depend on where the king would go. The king can't actually, uh, the king can't go toward my pawns if I check first. Maybe that's what it is. Because right now the king... If I go win that pawn, the king can go toward my b-pawn. But if I check first, the king has to move away from my b-pawn, either forward, where it can't come down toward them, either over toward the c-file, or to one of those two squares, which again is away from those two pawns. Okay, so I understand that. So I wouldn't win a pawn immediately, but if I did, I would still be at plus one. So I would check first, the king would go to c4, and then I would win this pawn. Oh, because then that one's all but guaranteed. If they move to protect it, then I go get that one. Okay. I'm still up plus one, so I don't, I don't, oh, I know the other move was supposedly better, but this one that I found is still good. It's still winning for me. It says they would play rook to d8 is their best move, and then I can either play b3 check or take over here, and Stockfish can't decide which one is best. I would probably take over here. If they check me, I'm not worried about the check because I have a getaway square, but yeah, I'm, I'm mo up more than plus one. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, there was about an hour and a half of an interruption there, out of my control. So that's why we're back on this screen instead of solving that last puzzle. All I remember is that I think I understood why their move was better than the one that I chose. But as we saw by looking at the analysis board, my move was also winning, just not as winning as the other one. That's usually not what happens in puzzles. Usually there's only one move that maintains the advantage or one move that pushes the advantage, one move that's winning. So that one was a little shady, in my opinion. But we're going to go on. If I remember right, I started at 1781, made it up to some number, and then got knocked back down. So I think I am at 1783. Okay. 
I do have some checks in this position. I have this check. I don't think that's good. Is that the only check that I have? I think that is the only check that I have. What about captures? I can capture this pawn, and if they took back, I could win a pawn, trade the bishops and win a pawn, I guess. And then I would be threatening the rook at that point with my queen, which it would have to move someplace, maybe here. That doesn't look great, winning a pawn. Uh, the check doesn't look good at all. It just loses, loses a queen. Okay, what about threats? I can threaten their queen by putting my knight on e4. Their queen wouldn't move here because I don't think my queen could take it, but then their, their knight could take back. That, that wouldn't be great. Although if their knight took back, then I could check, but then they could move out of check, and I could come here with my bishop, and they'd block with the pawn. I, that doesn't look great. Um, they could also move forward, for example. Yeah, there. Also doesn't look great. The one good thing about this is that it does open up my rook to head down to the back rank. But as I said, their queen could go there, which is still guarding the rook's spot on the back rank, d8. Uh, if the queen did go to e7 and I took, which I don't know that I would, they would take back and then I could check. They would have to move out of the way. I could check again. They would block with this pawn, I think, or, or this pawn. They could block with the g pawn. And then I don't know what I have. So yeah, like none of those options look really good. I guess I could threaten the knight. Wait, is the knight trapped? No, it, it's protected by the queen there. Uh, also, it could just hop over here uh, at the pawn at the square that that pawn isn't guarding anymore, and then it would be threatening the bishop. Although, if it did that, then I could do this. Maybe that's what I need to do: is get the knight to stop guarding that square. If I push this pawn and their knight goes here, then I can threaten their queen. But then they could come in here, threatening the pawn and my knight. But then I would take their knight with my rook. Yeah, because the, the, the threatening the queen move knight to e4, I, I think doesn't work as long as their knight still guards e7. But if their knight's not guarding e7 anymore, then this becomes more effective, and I, I should be able to win a knight out of it, besides opening up this threat. So I'm going to try that, and again, if it's wrong, we will find out why. Yeah, that was wrong. Okay. Well, let's hit the hint button and see what the answer was. It was to threaten the queen immediately, and the queen did go to where I thought it would. Okay. Well, we followed that line out, and I don't get anywhere with it. I can check. It just ends there, even though the... And that puzzle was only rated 1400, so it gave me a, gave me a break like it normally does when I fail. My last puzzle was a failure. It gives me a break on the rating for the next puzzle, but... And it says this has a 69% pass rate. Okay, well, we have to switch to analysis, analysis board to find out why that's better. Okay, well, the, the G4 move was definitely not among those options. But what's the, what's the downside of playing that? It says they would play knight to h4. Okay. And then then I would it says I definitely wouldn't want to do this now, but why not? They would just come up here. Oh, and now their knight's not here for me to attack. Okay. But now their queen's not guarding that square anymore. Okay. And then I would play Wait, it says h3. Why wouldn't I play f3 to protect both of those pieces? It says I would play h3. Oh, because that one's already protected. If I play h3, they're going to take my bishop. Yeah. Oh, I guess they would take my bishop also if I, if I played f3. Okay. Well, that one didn't work because the knight could go over here. But why did mine work? It, it didn't look like it, I got any further. Because here we're still even on material. And the other way we were even on material. Oh, the problem here is no matter what I play, they're going to get this bishop. And then... No, they're, they're not going to get the knight. I'm going to take the bishop... I mean, to take their knight. Oh, and then they would take this pawn with check. Okay, I guess. Okay, we'll go back the other way. It says I should have played knight to e4 first, and that was their best move, and it was my only move to take, which way... Some of those others are showing a little bit of an advantage, but... And of course, it make, makes sense for them to take back, and then I check, but how am I at plus two here? When I wasn't at plus two the other way, we're still even on material, and their king is safe. So I would play knight to d6, presumably threatening the bishop, but, but their bishop is defended twice. Okay. Well, that's two in a row I don't understand, and the engine was no help. So maybe this video was not meant to be today. Normally, the reason I switch to the analysis board is because I can then usually figure out why my when I missed a puzzle, I figure out why, and, and I'll learn something. But that's two in a row I didn't learn anything. Okay. Okay, hopefully I deleted the last few minutes. I was trying to solve this puzzle 
moving the wrong pieces. It says black to move, but I was looking at these pieces as mine for some reason. I didn't see the, the black to move part, and I didn't notice that, wait, the black king's down here and the white king's over there. I, I'm playing with the black pieces. I'm going that way. This is so, it was so confusing to me. I thought the black pieces were coming this way and this pawn was about to promote and I had to stop it or, or take this knight or something. So very bad. I am playing with the black pieces and I'm in check. This knight has just moved to F5 and placed me in check. Well, I think I have to take it with this rook, don't I? What happens if I, yeah, it's, it's very confusing, especially since I spent several minutes looking at it from the wrong perspective, thinking I had to move one of those three pieces. I am in check. I, if I move out of check... They're just going to take this pawn and I'm going to be in check again and then have to run and then they put me in check again. And I, I, I don't know. But if I take, this is what I'm thinking, because right now I'm threatening checkmate. If I take their knight, what do they do? If I capture on F5, sorry, G5, I take back with either one of those pieces or after I capture on G5, they could just check me. But then I could block with the rook. I'm, I'm going to capture on g5 with the rook. I'm already out of sorts, partially due to the long interruption and partially due to not understanding the last two puzzles and partially due to trying to move the wrong pieces on this. So yeah, this is a little embarrassing because I'm doing this on video and, I, and I'm going to put most of this on YouTube. So be thankful that you don't do that. Uh, oh, that, that was it. No, no follow-up. Okay, I thought for sure I was going to miss this puzzle, but I thought if that was the right move, there was going to be follow-up and I was going to have trouble. You know, my only saving grace was that there's a checkmate down here. But is that the answer? Okay, it was even until they checked me with the knight. Oh, it says I have made an 11 if I take here. Well, what's their best move? Okay, it was as I thought. Much better for them to take here because now I'm in check. I, I can't checkmate them while I'm in check. And it does say I would block with the rook. And then their best move is to go here and check me again. So let's say that they did that. And then my best move is to go back. But see, here's where I might have messed it up. I might have messed this up. But okay, so if I went back, they're be okay, now they're in dire straits. Their best move is to go here. Why not? Why not check me down here? That's not one of their top three options. So what, what do I play if they check me down here? Oh, I would block with the knight because my queen is protecting it. Then their best move, oh, now their best move is to give away the queen. What if they didn't give away the queen? Okay, if, okay, now, now because that check is blocked, any move that they make that's not check, they lose to mate, okay? Well, what if they went here protecting that spot? Oh, then I have mate down there. Okay, I got it, next. And I don't remember how many minutes the first part of this was, so I don't know how many minutes I have left for my normal time limit. Okay, let's check for checks first. There is a check they could take, I could take back. That seems like an even trade, but then this pawn would be hanging after all that. Is that my only check? It is not, uh, yes, that is, that is my only check. I do also have this pawn hanging here with the rook behind it. Can they protect that rook? I don't think so, but yeah, there's, there's stuff hanging all over the place. This is, would be undefended after I move my queen. This is currently undefended. My back rank is defended, though. My, my bishop guards that spot, so I am not worried about being back rank checkmated here. Also, my knight could block, and my bishop could capture on d1, so I'm not worried about that. But yeah, this pawn's hanging. Once I move my queen, that pawn's hanging. I, I'm going to take the pawn. Oh, oh, that was it. And they did find a way to protect. Okay, so do I take? See, if I take, they're going to take back with their knight, and then I would move my bishop here, pinning the knight to the rook. But then they would move the rook over here, and this pawn would still be hanging. I, I'm going to take the queen. Well, that was wrong. What, what happened? Sorry, I, I don't know why it did that. I thought I was clicking the analysis board. I think I saw what happened, but it moved really quickly. And it, wow. Okay, I was right. It was my best move to take here. And it was their best move to play queen to f6. But now the only move that maintains any significant advantage for me is bishop to b2. And that's because after they take my queen, I will take here. Oh, and I will still get the rook. Now it really doesn't matter what they do. If they play knight to f6, I'll take their rook. If they play king to e7, which is their top move, then I will take their rook. If they play rook captures this pawn, then I would take their rook. Well, let's do another one. Okay, it looks like I only have two checks in this position. One is capturing the pawn on f6, which their queen would take back, and then 
The only follow-up I would have there is rook to e8, and the king would just get out of check. So I don't think that's good. My only other check is here, so I don't think that's good either. Now one thing I have is I could capture here with my bishop, which if they took back, then this check would be safe, and they would only have one legal move, and then I would have checkmate. But they don't have to take back. So what if they didn't take back? What would they do? I don't know. But I also don't see anything else that works. Like, for example, checking now loses the rook. Now then I could take here, but then when they moved out of check, I don't think I would have a follow-up. Oh, I'd get the bishop, but, but, then they would, but then they would have checkmate down here. So I'm going to take the pawn. Well, that wasn't it. What was it? All right. The first move was that. Rook to e8 check. Okay, well, we, we talked about why that doesn't work. Because it, once I take here, they move out of check, only legal move. Oh, now this is a check. Okay, they would block with the bishop, and then I would take it, and now they have to give up their queen. Okay, so that was part of it, but I had to get the queen out of position first by giving up the rook. Then do this. Oh, and then it would have stopped there. Before, it, the I don't like the puzzles that's rooks on the seventh one. No, I didn't have a rook on the seventh. Mating that? Well, not really, because we're not mating. Decoy deflection. Okay, I did. We deflected the queen from this pawn. But yeah, I, I, what I was started to say is I strongly dislike the puzzles that stop before really showing you what you gained from it. I would end up with a queen for a rook. Okay. But at least I understood that one, I think. In this one, my queen is under attack. We do have checks in this position. I have a check here on f6. I think that's my only check. I think the result of that would be the queen capturing on f6, and then I would have checkmate right there because my bishop's down here guarding. Oh, the puzzle rating was pending on that one. Well, I figured that one out, so good for me. We're, we're now 28 points below where I originally started this video at 1781, right? Yeah. Did I not click next puzzle? I thought I clicked next. Wow. Okay, the green button is next. Okay, we've got another puzzle. Either I'm not clicking the right buttons today, which is a really bad sign, or there were some bugs on the site for a second, which they've had so many this year that it very well could be that. Okay, I am playing with the white pieces. So my pawn's going that way, and their pawn's going this way, right? They're, they're about to promote. Can I take their pawn? How did their king get all the way down here? That's what I want to know. Well, I don't want to promote now. I'm pretty sure. If I promote, they'll take it. And then what? I, I take this pawn, and then... And then we both have rooks, so I don't, it's not promoting. I'm pretty sure it, you know, it's probably not. I don't see a problem with taking this pawn. Wait, maybe I do. Because if they check me, and then I went anywhere besides, if I went anywhere besides right there in front of my rook, uh, their king could take my rook. Okay, so if I take this, I assume they're going to check me at that point. If I move in front of my rook, they would check me at that point. Then I could go beside my rook, and then they couldn't check me again. So that looks good, but based on my track record today, I'm going to assume it's wrong and do it anyway. Oh, it was right. And that was right. Oh, that was wrong. <laughs> All right, what was it? It was something not that. Oh, the reason it's wrong is, I guess, because they could take and it with check. Oh, I had to go here. Now when they take, I promote. Okay, because the other way, if I moved here, they, when I took it was check. I understand that. We don't have to switch to the analysis board. Theme is past pawns. Yes, uh, past pawns was part of it, so was promotion. Simple? No. Okay. All right, I do have some checks. I have a check on a4. I have a check down there, but that, I don't think that's good. They would just take my queen, and I'm way down on material here. I don't know how in the world I have an advantage in this position. My opponent is up a rook and a minor... No, my opponent is up two rooks and a minor piece, and getting really close to checkmating me. Okay, so let's say I check here. They have two ways to get out of that check, and I don't have a follow-up other than, I guess, let's, if I checked here and they went that way, I, I don't have a follow-up. I can check with the bishop. It's got to be the bishop, because then I do have a follow-up, because then my queen is still cutting off these squares. My bishop would hit those, so that would be their only legal move. Then I would hit their queen, and I think that's made. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, I, it's not made, is it? I was about to wax philosophical for a moment about why I might be doing so poorly, um, but that would just make this video longer, and I'm not sure any of you are interested in, in my confused thoughts on the matter. But the thing that came to my mind immediately and often comes to my mind over the last couple of years is my age, 
If you're not aware, you haven't been around the channel for a while, I am over 50 and getting older all the time, which happens to some of us. So that might have something to do with it. The other thing might have to do with, I have lots of other stuff going on in my life besides chess and this channel, and that could be distracting me. But I am going to try to get back up above 1781 before this video ends. I don't know if we'll make it. I'm in check. I have three ways to block that check. Um, I could move the pawn up. But one of those is better than the other. Oh, I could also move out of check. Wow. One of those is better. One, two, three, four, five choices. Oh man, I hate, I don't like the puzzles where I have to get out of check and one of them's better than the other. But I do, but I do have to get out of check. I, I can't, I can't, you know, go running around the board trying to capture pieces or hitting the knight or something like that. I have to get out of check one of these five ways. I'm pretty sure it's not moving the king up or over. It's almost, you know what though, in puzzles, it, it's that about half the time. In, in games, we almost always try to block a check or get out of check by any means necessary that don't involve moving the king, especially if the king hasn't castled yet, because very soon I would like to move this bishop and castle. If I block with the bishop, I don't know what their their next move is probably going to... No, their next move wouldn't be castling because their bishop would be hanging. Okay, so what's the downside of blocking with the bishop? They could take, and then I could take with my knight, and I'd be ready to castle over here. So that seems like it works out okay, but I don't get a huge win for it. They would have to do something with their bishop, like take. But then that's just a trade, and, and that doesn't seem puzzly. Now there's the pawn which I tend to block with pawns if at all possible. The only problem with that is that it takes away a square from the knight, the normal development square. But it does force the bishop to go backward. If it goes backward, I can throw another pawn forward. Then it has to go back over here, I guess. But then that's it. That's what I would do in a game. That's what I'm going to do. Oh. Okay, this is like playing Martin, the 250 rated Martin. Not the 500 mighty Martin, but the 250 Martin bot. It does something completely unexpected and ridiculous. Why didn't it just go back one? Because then when I threatened it, it could have gone back one more and it would have been fine there. But it went all the way back and the puzzle's still going. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to take that knight because they can take back. I can threaten their queen here, but then they were going to just move this pawn forward. If they move that pawn forward, then I could take it because my queen is right here. And then their queen would be trapped. Okay, let's try that. Oh, nope, they moved... Well, I don't know if those were the best moves or not on the bot's part, but I'm pretty sure Stockfish could have seen what I was about to do, so they could have just saved all the trouble and put their bishop there in the first place and and let me have the knight to begin with. And we'd be in this exact position, wouldn't we? Yes, yes we would. Okay, well I've got 12 more points to go. Let's see if we can do it. I mean, we can just take that, can't we? We can also check, but then they come forward and they're protecting the bishop. If we take the bishop now... They, I don't think they'll take ours because Queen would be hanging. Do we have any checks? Well, we do have a check here, but that looks bad. We have a check here, but that looks equally bad. I could take this two different ways. One with my Queen, one with my Rook on D4. If I take with my Queen, then I'm also pointing down here. But if I take with my Queen, I'm relinquishing the defense of this Bishop. That's one downside to that. Okay, so what if I take here first? Assuming they'll take back because it's a check, then I could capture here but they could just move over and it and i would be in check if i capture here and they take the bishop and i take there then my rook's hanging oh but no they wouldn't take there i'm going to capture this with my rook because if they take this then i'm going to take their queen and put them in check again i probably not oh that all oh, right i'm in check which i can block with the bishop but then my queen's hanging oh oh right oh i can check here Oh, I got it. Those were the only moves that made any sense to me. I'm not claiming that I understood this puzzle, except that each time it seemed like there was only one or two moves that made any sense. And yes, this video has gone on too long, but I am trying to get back up to 1781, so it may not happen. Wait, this is another one where the pieces are all out in the wrong places, aren't they? Look, what in the world? Why, why is that guy over here? Okay, I'm playing with the black pieces. I'm on my own back rank, but their king has, has come all the way over here somehow. To help out, because the rook and the queen and the bishop were not able to get to this pawn somehow. Okay, well, I mean, I have some checks. I, I have this check. Oh, that's checkmate, right? Because my king cuts off all these squares. My pawns cut off those squares, and my queen would be hitting all of that and that one. That was checkmate. Ooh, I'm above 1782. I'm going to stop. 
So however many puzzles I did in this video, not just the ones seen on the graph, but the two or three that I did in the first part bef that I recorded separately before I had a long distracting interruption, however many puzzles it took, 10, 12, something, it'll be in the thumbnail, I, I gained one point. Thank you for spending your time here. And hopefully I'm wrong about my age setting in and my brain just, you know, dissolving, which it very well could be, but let's hope that's not the case. It would be kind of sad to watch that play out on YouTube. Anyway, I do appreciate your time, and I'll see you next time.